Hello guys, I'm back to help you become a better problem solver. Let's go over this together. Suppose that 695 feet of fencing are used to enclose a coral in the shape of a rectangle with a semicircle whose diameter is a side of the rectangle as shown in the following figure. Find the dimensions of the coral with maximum area. Okay, let's start by setting up the goal clearly. Goal, maximizing, maximizing area right area okay great now what is the area which we will represent with a according to our figure well it should be x times y for a rectangular part plus for the circular part one half of pi times r squared but notice r the radius of the circle is just x over two simplifying this we will see that area is equal to x times y plus plus pi over eight x squared, right? Great. Now, there is a constraint, constraint. No matter how you design this coral, you have to use 690 feet of fencing. Basically, that means that the perimeter, which we will represent with capital P, no matter what must be equal to 695 feet, right? Great. But what's the perimeter according to the figure? Well, this guy is y, so we have twice y plus this guy is x plus x. That's for a rectangular part, for the circular part, again, one half of this time two pi r. But what is r? The radius of the circle is just x over 2, right? x over 2. That is the perimeter, right? And that has to be equal to 695. Great. Simplifying, isolating y, we're going to get that y is equal to 347.5 minus, minus 2 plus pi over 4 times x. Great. Now that we have y in terms of x, I'm going to substitute this into here, my area function, which is often called the objective function, okay? So this means that the area, the area should be equal to x times bracket 347.5 minus two plus pi over four, times x, close brackets, plus pi over eight x squared, great. Simplifying this quadratic function, we should get this, a equal 347.5 times x minus four plus pi over four times x squared. Great, now the important calculus step to maximize this quadratic function, set the derivative of the area function equal to zero and solve and solve for x, right? For the variable, for x, great. If you do that, derivative of area function should be equal to 347.5 minus two times this guy, right? But simplifying, that is just this. 4 plus pi over 2 times x. And remember, this should be set equal to 0, right? Great. Now, solving this for x, we're going to get that x is equal to 194 oh, 63 feet, okay? Rounded to two decimal places. Great. Now, notice. Notice. If we take the second derivative of a, which is gonna be the derivative of the derivative, right? That is gonna be this number, minus four plus pi over two, which is a negative number, right? For all values of x within the domain of our area function. What does this mean? It means that our area function, when graph is concave down, concave down, right? Remember, second derivative negative resembles the mouth of a frown face. So we are dealing with a graph that is concave down. So clearly the maximum 
is achieved here, right? Clearly, this value of x is associated to a maximum value for the area. Then we can compute easily y by substituting x into here and get that y is equal to 97.32 feet, rounding to two decimal places. And as a conclusion, we can say that x equal 194.63 feet and y equal 97.32 feet are the dimensions of the coral that has maximum area. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. More videos coming up. Thank you.